Hey everybody, Model Man here with another pseudo annual charity auction. This is going to be the biggest of all of them that I've ever done. There's a little bit of filler in here, but there's still a lot of really good stuff going on overall. Dozens of kits, literally, and I'm throwing in a few books as well. There's a couple posters, uh, there's some electronics, and uh, just lots and lots and lots of plastic. Let's take a look at what's going on from Lindbergh. You're going to have a tough time beating out Ad Grendel's to get this transparent bullfrog. Then we got a 57 Chevy Ragtop, a U.S. Moonship, just in a Dornier Dole 172, and a Winnie Mae with 45 pieces in there. And over here, this box has two pounds of wire in it. The other five boxes here have five or six wall warts in them, power transformers, typically DC. They're sorted either into above 6 volts or 5.9 volts and below. Five or six pieces each. If they don't go this time, they're going into e-waste. Then as you may have just seen here, I've got two of these posters. They're pretty nice overall. Looking forward to getting those to some people. Since we're speaking of cardboard boxes, here's the AMT Death Star in two pieces and primered. Up here, I've got most in the old AMT 167501701. Missing the lower half of the secondary hull. And now that we're talking about Star Trek, we got the new exploration set, the Romulan Battle Cruiser, the 1420th Defiant, 12500th Warbird. And for a little bit of filler, I'm throwing in Star Trek Memories from William Shatner. And since we're still talking about space, how about Space 1999, The Alien? How can you resist a look on a face like that? And down here, Modeler's Brand is throwing in a 5mm straw hat LED 20-pack. That's 180 LEDs plus wire, heat shrink, switches, and so on. Then there's a whole lot of cars going on here. Chevy Rescue Van, the Munsters Monster Truck, Captain America Monster Truck, the Ghostbusters Ecto-1, Jack Reacher, 1970 Cheville, a Bugaboo, a 63 Corvette Stingray, and Tommy Grove. Then over here in the books and magazines, Ken Abrams at Scale Model Attic sent me an extra copy of this, so I'm giving it off to you guys. He wants me to donate this to a charity that deals with kids. So I'll look up that on eBay when I get to listing all this. And then over here, a couple unrelated books to models. The Star Wars Visual Dictionary of Legos. It's missing its exclusive Luke Skywalker. I've got two of these books. I've had them for years, so it's time to give one to somebody else. And this Game of Thrones book was a, uh, it was a throw out from a local library, actually. It was done just after season one. And it's really got a lot of great pictures, some bios of the characters, and so on. Nice to have. I love the show. Not interested in the book, though. So, there we go. 35 items. By the time you see this video, they will be posting on eBay. So I'll try and coincide that pretty well. And uh, good luck to everybody. It'll be a standard one-week charity. And that'll be that. So as always, 100% to charity. I think everything's going to have a $10 starting bid, and uh, it's going to be good. I hope to get a lot of money to a lot of charities and a lot of model kits and stuff to a lot of people out there. Thanks for watching, as always. See ya. And here are a few YouTube channels that might interest you. As always, The Scale Model Addict. Scott Gervan brings you his own work, and The Scale Model Addict Forum and Scale Model Addict Magazine. Dr. Faust's The Painting Clinic. Check out Tony for miniatures and model painting. What time is it? It's Cranky Time. With his lab rat, Ori, assistant, Igor, Dr. Cranky brings you the best in rats, rods, and rust. Steve Neal's Garage with Rosie the Wonder Dog, Mary, and Xena. Featuring feature film props, restorations, and scale model artistry. Scott Alexander of Atomic City Models, specializing in 2001 A Space Odyssey model recreations and a few other notable genre pieces as well. Braddock 001, whether a one-to-one -one scale Borg sleep station, droids of any make or model, 
or even popular superhero armor or any kind of sculpture, look to Brad Carpenter to bring it. And for the trials, tribulations, and tales of my car red 2 and its droid lemons, check in on Gears McTinkerson. Bad Grendel's for fine model work, timer chips, and electronics knowledge. The Model Man Tom channel would like to thank the following for their sponsorship. Elliot Brown of Kingston Vacuum Works, featuring Fedoratron.com and WarmPlastic.com. Lighting for extraordinary modelers, and vacuum forming tables for designers, modelers, and engineers. Kingston Vacuum Works covers it all. Paul at TheFiberOpticStore.com, now presenting the beta version of its new site, TheFiberOpticProjects.com. For an exceptional selection and great prices of fiber optics of all sizes and quantities, TheFiberOpticStore.com. Carpenter Creations. If you can dream it, you can make it. Brad and Carpenter, science fiction artiste. From full-scale board cubicles, or droid displays of all kinds, Carpenter Creations. Steve Neal's Garage. Props and models for motion picture and discerning collectors, as well as prosthetic makeup and CG. Contact Steve through stevenealsgarage.com. Model reviews from Round 2 Models. AMT, MPC, Polar Lights, and Lindbergh. Scale Model Attic Magazine. Issue 3 now available. Issue number 4 is in the works. The Orbital Defense Engineering Commission, a 2001 A Space Odyssey specific forum for scale model kits, reviews, news, and discussion. Odec.proboards.com. More than just talk, hobbytalk.com. A forum for every hobby. And for the finest reference collection of feature film studio props and miniatures and models, Modelers Miniatures and Magic at ModelerMagic.com.